Happy New Year! It's 2019. Today I'm sharing with you my recipe for collard greens. It's a tradition in the African American community that we start the new year with collard greens and black eyed peas. The collard greens are for uh, a prosperous new year and the black eyed peas are to wish you good luck. So today I'm sharing with you my collard green recipe. showing you guys how I make my New Year's Day collard greens. Now, this year, I didn't plan ahead, and I went to the store yesterday, the day before New Year's, and they were all out of collard greens, guys. Like, I had to go to three separate stores. I went to Publix, um, Target, and then I finally settled on Winn-Dixie, where I had to get frozen collard greens because I didn't plan ahead, and I didn't get my... Um, collard greens that come in the bag they're already washed and pre pre-cut for me now i take that back i think Publix did have them but they wanted like five or six dollars for a bag so i wasn't interested in that so this year i am taking a shortcut i'm using frozen collard greens but i'm still going to cook them the same way i use my um fresh collard greens so i am using collards there's a difference between collard greens and turnip greens but i'm using collard greens and then here are my ingredients I have a frozen seasoning blend. It's just the peppers and the onions. And I think there might be some celery in there. I'm going to use that. I'll probably add another onion, fresh onion. I have some apple cider vinegar for the flavoring. I use a can of stewed tomatoes. Of course, salt and pepper. I have some chopped onions. Now, I cook my greens vegetarian. Um, my parents are vegan, so I grew up eating vegetables that didn't have meat in them but I still know how to make them flavorful and so good so this is a vegetable bouillon I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna have some minced garlic now I usually sometimes use vegetable broth but I don't have any of that today so I'm gonna be using water as my broth I'm just seasoning the water to taste all right guys stay tuned to see how it goes down All right, so here I have my base cooking. I have the stewed tomatoes, the onions and pepper blend. I put some olive oil down, put the minced garlic down, and I put my secret ingredients, the jalapeno, the fresh jalapeno. You wanna give it a little bit of heat. It's gonna simmer down with um, the cooking that we're gonna do, so it's not gonna be entirely spicy, but it's gonna have a little kick to it. So you let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And then we add the greens, cover it, and let it slowly cook. Stay tuned. All right. This is what they look like with everything in. Got the greens simmering. So we're just going to cover this and let it cook. So all the ingredients can form together and create a nice flavor. Okay, it's, it's cooked for about 30 minutes on a low simmer. Once you season them to your liking, add the salt and pepper, the garlic, the bouillon cubes, and it's ready to enjoy. I don't like overcooking my greens, so after about 30 to 40 minutes of being cooked at a medium to low heat, 
my greens are ready to go.